Okay, um, I'm going to cut this up. And uh, here's how we'll do it. On example B, we need to find the value of the x's. We have a missing angle inside the triangles. We know that all triangles add up to 180 degrees, all three angles, that is. <coughs> Voila. Now you know what x is. You know two out of the three angles. That means you can figure out the third. You take this right angle, which is 90 degrees. You add these two together. This makes 125 degrees. These two angles are 125 out of the possible 180 degrees inside a triangle. Let me repeat. One triangle has 180 degrees. You see 125 of them right now. You don't know the missing x. So if you know 180 and you take away what you can see, then the missing angle is the leftover amount. X is 55 degrees. 55. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, three numbers add up to 180. I give you two of them. You go find the third. So is it a real triangle? Yeah, that's a real triangle. Because 55 plus 90 plus 130, or 1 plus 35 is 180. Example, the one below, exactly the same. Mm -hmm. You know two, tri uh, two angles of the triangle. 75, 75. Altogether, how many angles, do, or how many degrees do they make up? <coughs> These two added up. 75, 75 is? 150. 150. <laughs> So right here, this is 150 degrees. How many degrees are there inside of a triangle in all? 180. So you know 150 of them are right here. This must be 30. You know there's 180. You can see 150. You can't see the missing 30 degrees. That is, to me, it's that simple. And I believe this was taught to you beginning in fourth grade. Mm -hmm.